Hello, this is Adam, the Certified Car Seat Technician with Infant Toddler Youth and Car Seat Quickie. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to do the Duna base installation with the lower anchors or what you call the latch system. Now, this is just a general installation video. Remember, one installation is not going to be the same in every car. So before you install your Duna, make sure to consult your car seat manual and also your vehicle manual because you need to know where everything is in the car, where you can't or can't put something and what you can or can't do. And the only thing that will let you know that is the manuals of the vehicle and the car seat. Now, for Duna, there are two general rules we're going to use to make sure installation is complete. Number one, after we secure the lower anchors to the car, the car seat should not be able to slide more than an inch from side to side or front to back. As long as the car seat does not move more than an inch in either direction, then you know it's tight enough. The back of the car seat, this is the part that worries families the most. No matter how tight you make it, the back part is going to be able to go up and down, it'll go side to side, that's normal. Car seats are designed to move on the back because when an accident happens, the car seats absorb the crash force and redistribute it. Instead of the force being released on the baby, it's released on the back here. The second rule is to make sure the baby is sitting at the right angle. There is a leveling device on both sides of the car seat and we have to make sure that the white arrow stays completely inside the green. No part of the arrow is allowed to touch either side of the red. If it is, the angle needs to be adjusted. And that's actually the first thing we're going to do when we install our Duna. So that way we don't have to, if it's not at the right angle, we don't have to uninstall it, fix it, reinstall it. So right off the bat, we're going to adjust the, the tilt of the, of the chair. So with your hands, you're going to push down on the top of the base. And you can actually see where the dial is going to end up. Right now, the arrow is half in the green, half in the red, but we want all green and no red. So on the top of the base here, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. When you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to adjust the tilt and the recline. So you want to turn it and check it until you see that we are all in the green. Now, as we're tightening the car seat in our next step, we're going to keep an eye on the dial because it may change as we're tightening the lower anchors. But for now, it looks like we're OK. Um, now we're going to attach the lower anchors. The connectors are located on both sides of the base, and to get them out of the base, you're going to push a red button. So just like a seatbelt, when you push a red button, it's going to disconnect, and we do the same thing for both sides. We need to make sure that the straps are not twisted or tangled, and that we can, when we connect it, that it's not upside down. So make sure everything is flat and free. And there's only a tightening strap on one side of the connector, so you don't have to tighten up each side one at a time. When you pull on the strap on the right side, it's just going to tighten the whole thing all together. So if you've previously installed this car seat or it just came out of the box at the, at the most tightest position, we're going to want to loosen it up first. So this gray button here, you need to hold it down. And as you're holding it down, you're going to pull on the bottom strap. So. That'll let us loosen it so we have plenty of room to attach to the vehicle. Now when we're ready to tighten it, that's when you pull on the top strap. So top strap tightens, the bottom strap plus the gray button will allow us to loosen it. So everything is loose as far as it will go, nothing is twisted or tangled. Find the lower anchors in your vehicle. In my Prius C, there's a little buttons with a picture of a car seat. And right below those buttons, there's an opening in the fabric, and inside the opening is the metal uh, lower anchor bar. So we're gonna line these up. It even says right side up here. You're gonna push it onto the lower anchor. You're gonna hear a clicking sound. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Line it up and attach. Now that both sides are connected, we're going to make sure that the base is right up against the back of the vehicle seat. Over here on the right side of the base is where we pull on the strap to tighten. So as I'm pulling on the tightening strap, I'm just kind of pushing down on the base. I'm slowly rocking it from side to side. That's going to allow me to wedge the base into the vehicle seat and get it nice and snug. Now with one hand, we grab it from either side of the handlebar. 
we make sure the car seat can't move more than an inch. So I have a little bit of movement, but it's not an inch. So that means that it's a safe tightness. So like I said earlier, if you make it tighter than this, it's not gonna make it any more safer and it's gonna give you more of a chance to indent the vehicle in your car. Um, so we're gonna need to double check the angle to make sure that when we tightened it, it didn't change the tilt. It looks like the white arrow is still completely in the green, so we're good there. So the car seat is not moving more than an inch. The angle's in the right position. Both of our rules are being followed. We know that the installation is good. Now, because the back of the car seat moves, this is gonna loosen up over time. Once a month, you're gonna grab the car seat from either side and you wanna do that inch test. Let's say a couple months down the road, or a couple months down the road, the car seat starts to move more than an inch. That's normal. All you have to do now is tighten it up again. So that's why it's important to not only just get the car seat installed for you if you go to a tech, but is to be taught how to do this. Because more than likely, you are gonna have to retighten this a few times during the duration of your do-no. Now that the base is installed, when you put the car seat into the vehicle base, you wanna make sure that the car seat and the seat in front of it are not touching, because if it is touching and preventing it from moving, the car seat will not be able to release, release the crash force if an accident were to happen. So make sure that when your car seat's in, the seat in front is forward or you can fit your hand in between so you know there's any space. Um, whenever you wanna take the base out of your vehicle, you're gonna find the red button that's sticking out of the connector just like a seatbelt. You push the red button, the connectors pop out, and now the car seat base is disconnected. And of course, when you're gonna reinstall it, like I said earlier, you need to make sure you loosen up the strap as much as possible. So hold down the gray button, pull on the bottom strap, pull them apart from each other, and that'll let you loosen it up all the way so you can reinstall it when you're gonna put it back in your car. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to support the channel. See you next time.